to a new video of Made by Seam. Today I'm going to show you how to make four super cute little baskets. Um, the details for the super small one, the small one and the large one, which is here, are um, in the description box of this video. I'm going to show you guys how to make this medium one for um, all four little Santa's project baskets you will only need um, about four skeins two skeins of the red and two skeins of the white and this is what I have left of the white and I finished completely off the red this completely used up all the red um, if you want to use the same yarn, please go down to the description box of this video and use my link because you guys will really do help me out if you do so. Um, that's, there's not much else to tell you uh, in front. You've probably all seen all the pictures that I posted at the beginning of this video. Um, I really do hope you like it and um, enjoy watching the video. For this tutorial I'm going to use two skeins of yarn of the Lorena Worsted, the color white and the color red. Now this is a cotton acrylic blend, 55% cotton, 45% acrylic, 100 grams per ball of yarn and 160 meters. You're supposed to, well at least they advise to knit this with a 4 to 5 millimeter knitting needles. And it's a worsted weight number 4 yarn. I'm going to use a 45 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle with a large eye, and to get in the spirit of Christmas, I'm going to use a stitch marker with Christmas bells. Um, I'm going to use this during the project, but when my project is done, I'm going to leave it um, on the project as well, because, you know, I like that. So this is everything you're going to use to make the Santa project basket. Enjoy the video. Okay. Um, I have a little bit of a working space. I'm going to show you guys in centimeters, 21 centimeters, which is eight and a half, eight and a half inches. Yeah. By, let me see, here, four and a half inch or 11 centimeters. So it is kind of hard to stay into this area but I'm trying to do my very best okay um, start off with a slip knot on your hook we're just going to do it the easy way um, not with a magic circle and you know um, just the easiest flat circle that you um, can make okay now start off with a slip knot on your hook and then a chain of four. One, two, three, and four. Insert your hook into the very first stitch. Then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And then you have yourself a little circle. See? Chain two. The chain two doesn't count as anything. It's just to get my hook up. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the circle. Grab your yarn. Yarn over. And pull through all three loops on the hook. That is called a half double crochet. 
yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through three. Okay, I just did two stitches. Get your stitch marker and place the stitch marker into the very first stitch that you did um, and not the chain two but the very first half double crochet and place your stitch marker underneath the V of your um, stitch. Now in total we need 10 of these half double crochet stitches. Three. Four, five, and so on and so on until you have ten. Okay, I have ten half double crochet stitches. Then take your stitch marker out and close this round in the first stitch. So not the chain two, but into the very first stitch. And be sure that you have your hook underneath both strands, like that. So when you have a look um, on top of your work, you have two strands here, all right? Yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Chain two. And again, the chain two doesn't count as anything. Yarn over. Go back to the very first stitch here, there, insert your hook and make two half double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Then get your stitch marker and place your stitch marker back into the first stitch. Not in a chain two, but into the very first stitch. Like that. Okay. This is the chain two. First stitch, second stitch. So in that stitch. Now in all stitches of this round, two half double crochet stitches. One and two. Next, one and two. In the same. Next one and two. And this is what you do for all the stitches of this round. And when you are um, close to the very first stitch, then you should have 20 half double crochet stitches. Okay. I have 20 half double crochet stitches. I'm taking the stitch marker out. and into the first stitch, slip stitch. There you go. Okay, I will have to tell you guys something. I'm gonna take this stitch out. I have 20 of these half double crochet stitches. Here it looks like this is another stitch, but actually it isn't. Okay, so don't... Um, let that piece of yarn fool you or trick you, but this is actually not a stitch. This belongs to the stitch here. And we already, well, we don't work um, in that stitch, the chain two. Okay, so into the first, grab your yarn and pull through, which is called a slip stitch. Then chain two, which again doesn't count as anything. Go to the very first stitch and make one half double crochet stitch. Then the next stitch, two half double crochets into the same stitch. And this is um, how we increase in this round. What you can do is place your stitch marker back into the very first stitch. I'm going to leave it out because... Um, it's hard when you're filming, but 
if you like, if it helps you, then place your stitch marker back into the very first stitch. Now, next, one half double crochet and two half double crochet in the next. One, two. One in the next. And two in the next. And this is the repeat of this round. What you can do to close this um, circle a little bit is pull on your tail end, but be careful that you don't snap the yarn. See? Okay. So, one and two. At the end of this round, you should have 30 half double crochet stitches. 30 half double crochet stitches into the very first stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. Chain two. This is round number four. Into the first stitch, one half double crochet. In the next, one half double crochet. And in the next, two half double crochet. Um, a little trick, count your rows, one, two, three, or rounds, count your rounds, one, two, three. This is round number four, so I'm counting stitches till four, and the last two stitches, number three and four, are going to be in the, in the same stitch. So, one... Two, and number three and number four in the same stitch. One, two, and number three and four in the same stitch. And this is what you do until you are at the beginning of this round and then you should have 40 half double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four in the same stitch. Okay, I have 40 have double crochet stitches and I'm closing this round with a slip stitch into the very first stitch. Then chain two, which again doesn't count as anything, into the very first stitch, one half double crochet, half double crochet in the next, which is number two, half double crochet in the next, number three, and number four and five into the same stitch. Here's a little trick for you guys. This is round number five. One, two, three, four. And this is round number five we're working on. So we're counting till five in the in increase rounds. And the last two stitches, number four and number five, will be into the same stitch. So one, two, three, and number four, and number five, into the same stitch. Again, one, two, three, number five in the same stitch and this is what you do all the way around until you are here when you have 50 half double crochet stitches I have 50 half double crochets and closing this round into the very first stitch with a slip stitch 
round number six. Chain two. One half double crochet in the first. One half double crochet in the second. One half double crochet in the third. Half double crochet in the fourth. Half double crochet in the fifth. And number six into the same stitch. Because remember, you are in round number six, and the sixth stitch will be into the same stitch as the stitch before. So, number five. So, counting till six one, two, three, and four. And number five and number six are the last stitches. So two stitches in the same stitch. One, two, three, four, and number five and six into the same stitch. And this is what you do all the way around. So you are here and you have 60 half double crochet stitches. Okay, I have 60 half double crochet, inserting my hook into the very first stitch and make a slip stitch. Then chain two. This is round number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Working on round number seven. So we're counting till seven. One, two, three, four, five, and number six. Because remember, the last two stitches will be into the same stitch. Six and seven in the same stitch. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven in the same stitch. One, two, three, four, Six and number seven in the same stitch as number six. And this is what you do all the way around till you are here. And then you should have 70 half double crochet stitches. Okay, I have 70 half double crochet stitches and I'm closing this round with a half double crochet stitch into the very first stitch. Now. For the medium version of this basket, this, um, for the big basket, you will need nine rounds, and for the medium one, um, just seven rounds. So for the medium one, you're uh, finished with the uh, bottom. Okay. Um, if you want to make the bigger version of nine rounds. Then um, remember what I told you before. The, ro the round after this one will be round number eight. So stitch number seven and eight will be in the same stitch. Okay? So the first seven stitches, just one stitch in each stitch. And then number, um, sorry, the first six stitches. In one stitch and number seven and eight in the same stitch and then all the way around then you have 80 stitches row number nine same okay so then you have um, you're counting to nine number eight and number nine will be in the same stitch after you did the complete round, 
you should have 90 half double crochet stitches and so on and so on so if you uh, decide to make with this stitch uh, for example uh, a rug then you just keep on going and when you forgot how many stitches you should do then count the rows the rounds I should I should say rounds then count the rounds okay and the last two stitches of the round will be into the, in the same stitch that is what you do when you um, make a flat circle or a rock or whatever okay now we're going to make a basket the medium one so this is my flat circle and now I want my bowl or my basket to go up doing that you should stop increasing okay next round okay so for um, this basket the medium one we're, st we're stopping with the increasing chain two and in this round just one half double crochet stitch into every stitch but we will not be crocheting into the whole stitch like that underneath two strands of yarn we will be working in the back loops only now here you see the V of the stitch see that this is your front loop and this is your back loop that one is your back loop okay yarn over insert your hook in the middle of the V and grab your back loop only yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all stitches on your hook let's do that again yarn over back loop only grab your yarn yarn over and pull through th all three stitches on your hook and this is what you do for the complete round back loops only and because we are not increasing in this round you should have the same amount of stitches in this round that you had in your last round so if you're doing the medium version of the basket at the very end of this uh, round you should have 70 half double crochet stitches if you're doing the big basket you should have 90 half double crochet stitches okay so the same amount of stitches that you had in your previous round and remember working in the back loops only okay closing this round into the very first stitch with a slip stitch there you go then chain two and then another round of um half double crochet stitches and it doesn't really matter if this is your uh, big basket or your small basket you know we're just keeping the amount of stitches uh, the amount of rows for um, after we did the the uh, flat circle we're just keeping that the same okay so two rounds of half double crochet stitches and in this round just one half double crochet half double crochet stitch into um, one stitch and in this round just through the whole stitch and not uh, through the back loops only see just underneath two strands of yarn like that so I'm doing the medium one at the very end of this round I should have 70 half double crochet stitches last stitch I have 70 half double crochets for the medium basket then into the very first half double crochet a slip stitch to close off this round now from now on the stitches will be different and we will not be closing rounds anymore so we will we will be working in continuous rounds okay chain one 
into the very first stitch, make a single crochet. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through two. Now, I want to mark this very first stitch. Usually, I would go underneath the two loops of the stitch. But then I will have to take the stitch marker out every single round and go one round up. Now, if you are a beginner, that's the best option you have, okay? Because um, it will still be hard for you probably to see where the round begins and where the round ends. Now, if you are a daredevil or you are an, um, an advanced crocheter, then just get your stitch marker and inst oops, and instead of working the stitch marker through the stitch here, I'm using the two front loops here and place the stitch marker right there. Sorry, I'm going to show you in a minute, but I don't want to frog my work and hurt myself with the stitch marker. Okay, Let's see, where are you? You are here. Look, so this is my stitch and usually I would go underneath here, but now I decided to go through the stitch there. Okay, just mark off the stitch wherever you like. Um, and remember that the fair, that this is the very first stitch of every new round that will start right there. Okay, now into the same stitch, so just where we did uh, the single crochet, we are going to make a double crochet as well. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, oops, not three, seam, pull through two, let me do that again. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over and pull through two. Okay, skip one. Next stitch, single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next stitch, single crochet and double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next, single crochet and double in the next. Skip, single, and double. And this is what you do all the way around till you are at the point where the stitch marker is. Okay, we're not going to close the round. Okay, we're not closing the round, but we will be working in continuous rounds. But if we would skip this stitch, this actually isn't a stitch because this belongs to the stitch of the previous round. Then you would go into the very first single crochet that we did at the beginning of this round. So I'm going to show you how that looks. It looks awful because you will have a big hole. Okay, so only for this round we're going to do it a little different. We're skipping a stitch and we will be working in that hole here that actually is not a stitch we should work in. But we will work in that one. Just to avoid the big hole. Single crochet. Now, then the double crochet. We're not going to make the double crochet into the same stitch, but into the single crochet. The first stitch of the round. There you go. Then skip the next and single crochet and double crochet in the next. And the next stitch, so you're skipping one stitch, the next stitch is always the single crochet of the previous round. So skipping the double crochet and working only in the single crochets. Single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. Skip, single 
and double crochet. Skip, single, and double crochet. Okay, so if you have a really close look, this is the double crochet and this is the single crochet of the previous round. And we work in this stage, skipping this one, working in that one, skipping this, working in that one. Okay? So, single crochet and double crochet in the same stitch. Now, when you reach the, um, that point right here, you just keep on going. Just keep on working in continuous rounds. You don't have to close your round right here. If you are um, making the big basket, then uh, what I did, I used up the whole skein. Um, I didn't have a look um, where the row, uh, where the round started and where I need, needed to finish the round because when you attach the white yarn for the, um, the border that you are going to have uh, on top, um, it, you will fold it over a little bit of the um, red yarn so you won't even be able to see it and you can work up all your yarn okay now for this one uh, this the medium one I'm going to do it a little different because I want to have some yarn left to make a small one okay in the next clip because I have no idea how many rounds I will be doing for the medium one. Uh, in the next clip I'm going to show you how um, how many rounds I did in total. Okay, now I'm going to show you for this one. After I did the two rounds of a, um, half double crochet, I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, I did 11 rounds um, of uh, the Suzette stitch in the round. Okay. Okay, enjoy and... Um, in the next clip, like I said, I'm going to tell you how many rounds I did. Alright, I did um, almost 10 rounds. My stitch marker is here. And when I follow the stitch marker, the stitches of the stitch marker up there, then this stitch would be the um, new stitch of uh, round number 11. Alright? So when I follow this up, then I would place stitch number one of row number 11 right there. There is one stitch in between, well actually two, but one single crochet in between where I am and the um, place where the new round starts. This is only when you decide halfway to... Um, change colors if you have if you still have yarn left if you want to um, uh, use up all your yarn then just keep on going and find you know at the very end of your uh, skein you can attach the new yarn okay but this is what you do insert your hook into the single crochet and make a single crochet right then go to um, then chain one then go to the next single crochet and slip stitch right then an extra chain one and pull through all right so when you uh, pull your tail through first thing you do now is turn your basket inside out there you go so your yarn tail is on the outside 
of your work. Okay? Okay, after you turned your work inside out, um, get your new yarn, your new color, and um, because I'm making a Santa basket, um, I have my white color here. And start off with a slip knot on your hook. And insert your hook in the very first stitch, which is the stitch where we just ended our round. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, and pull through two. So a single crochet, a, a double crochet into the same stitch. And now I'm working over my red yarn tail. I'm skipping my double crochet and working in the single crochets only, just like we did before. Single crochet. In the same. Skip the next one. Single crochet in the single crochet and a double in the same. Double, I said a double seam. A double in the same stitch. Skip. Single. And double. Skip. Single. And double. And this is what you do all the way around. Okay, I adjusted my last stitch before the uh, very first stitch of this round. Now, um, for this very first stitch, I'm going to do it slightly different. Just for this uh, this stitch, insert your hook not underneath the V, not underneath two strands, but place it through the stitch. Let me see um, here. So usually you would put your hook there, and now just through the stitch, and make a single crochet and a double crochet. Okay, um, the reason why I do this is to keep this hole here as small as possible. I'm going to show you what happens if I just go underneath um, the stitch. I have a, a bigger hole. See? So that's the reason why I decided to go through the stitch instead of, you know, just underneath. There you go. Okay. It is a little bit smaller. Now, go to the next stitch. Single crochet and double, single crochet and double, just like we did before uh, in continuous rounds. Now, I'm not sure how many rounds I'll be doing, but for the um, red here in my basket, I did 10 rounds. And I need a, need a little bit um, more rounds, so I probably probably will do 12 rounds. But like I said, I'm not sure yet, and I'm going to show you in the next clip how many rounds I actually did. Okay, I have a one stitch left, right there. Inserting my hook, grabbing my yarn, yarn over, and pull through two. A single crochet. Now, taking the stitch marker out and making just a slip stitch into the uh, stitch there. There you go. Then chain one. Go back to the stitch right there. So this stitch here. Insert your hook. Grab your yarn. 
yarn over and pull through two. Go back a stitch, so go to this stitch here, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through two. This might f um, feels really awkward, but you'll get used to it. And this is what you do all the way around. Now, working in the very first stitch here, as well. There you go. Then cut your yarn. I already did that in my Dutch video, and then pull through. Get your darning needle and sew in the end on the inside of your work, on the wrong side. Do this with all your um, ends and then I'll be back to show you what the complete set looks like. And this is what my little basket looks like. This is the a medium one. Um, I also made a, a super large one. And two smaller ones. If you decide to um, that you want them to be um, more in shape, if you know what I mean, then you can use a fabric um, hardener if you like, or some cardboard and um, a strip of cardboard and just place it around the edges right there, and it will be more like standing up. Um, this one is okay. The small ones are like the same, but the bigger one, you know, see what happens. Now, for me, that is not a big of a deal because I want to be able to fold them after I use them. I want to fold them and put them aside. Now, when you um, put some things in there, you know, it'll be okay. If you know what I mean, if that, if that, if that makes any sense. Anyway, um... um I used two complete red skeins of red of the Lorena worsteds. And this is what I have left of two skeins of the white for all four baskets. Okay, um, and I want to ask you if you decide to use the same yarn, then please go down to the description box of this video and use my link because you really do help me out quite a lot if you do so. Okay, I hope you did enjoy watching this video. If you did, give me, please give me a thumbs up, hit that um, subscribe button um, and that little bell next to the subscribe button so you will not have to miss any updates or any videos on, that come up on my channel. I do post in Dutch and English, but uh, for both videos in Dutch or in English, I'm going to write down the language into the title of the video. So you don't have to be um, disappointed if you... Um, find out that it, is a, that it is a Dutch video. Anyway, um, please share the video with all your friends and family. Um, let me know if you made these, post them on your, all your socials and be sure to tag me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, so I can see all your lovely versions. Thank you so much for watching. If you're going to make them or if you're going to have a look on the website of Ice Yarns, then please enjoy. Bye for now.
For this tutorial I'm going to use two skeins of the Lorena Worsted. It is a 50-50... Ok, opnieuw. Opnieuw! Again, 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 and again. For this tutorial I'm going to use these two beautiful skeins of yarn. This is the Lorena Worsted. This is a 55% cotton and 45% acrylic blend. 100 grams and 160 meters per skein. Um, for the this is white and this is the red one. They are both a worsted weight number four yarn. Um, and I'm going to use up all of my red and most of the white. So. Um, if you have 320 meters um, in, well, 160 Okay. 60. Nee, Engels. Okay, we're not going to close the round, but I will have to tell you something to avoid to have a big hole. Because what we would do, you know, in every following um, round, is skip a stitch. This is this this little uh, piece here belongs to the stitch, uh, the um, row before that one, before th this one. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Okay, I can't see. 